I'm often asked if I have a video log for my hiking, and the answer is no. I am terrified of being on camera. So, I'm just going to add voice to the images, pictures that I take on trail. And today, I'm headed on the North Country Trail, uh, starting at Henry Mills, and I'm hiking about five miles in, turning around and hiking back. Today's hike starts with a climb, so I'm putting my phone down to be safe. The steep part of the climb is over, I think. Still some snow on the ground, but it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. And so I'm really grateful to be getting out. The sun is starting to peek through the trees. It's really beautiful. And so I'm contemplating what I should call this video channel and have an overactive mind. So my brother and I started a podcast probably eight years ago now called When Health Goes Hiking. And I thought maybe I'll use that, but I hike for so many reasons that I can't seem to pinpoint a good name for the channel. So if you have some ideas, let me know. I'm still going up, but it's so beautiful here today. Little valley below, there's a stream down there. And uh, trail is, is easy, well maintained. And so I'm probably, you can't see it, I don't think, but I'm going up there. And uh, I don't know what's up there. So pretty. This runs right across the, the trail. <clears throat> Just passed through this pretty little meadow. Want to see what happens when I turn the camera sideways. I don't know if it'll still work, but we'll see. <sighs> I wish I could share the smells with you. This moss and green and the sun. This is beautiful. I'm about a mile and a half in and there's a tent site. So it's got a little fire pit and a nice little stream in the back. Um, probably room for one or two tents. But if I'm going to hammock, I'm probably going to need to be over in these trees somewhere. It's doable. It's a totally different feel hiking in through here. Ground is still frozen in some spots, but a bit soggy. Still, my feet are dry. You might not be able to see it, but here's some evidence that I'm not alone. Coming up to a roadwalk. Um, I don't like roadwalks. And this one is a bit icy. More evidence. I'm not alone. A little bit of a descent here, which is fun. I like running down hills, but what goes down must go up. So I'm out here with other animals and people, and I'm often asked if I'm afraid or if I feel safe. And the truth is, I'm not safe at all. Not just the animals and the people, but wind could knock a branch on me. I could fall. If I fell and I hit my head and went unconscious, I would probably freeze to death. So I'm not safe. But I really think safety is a distraction from experience real life because we're never really safe even in our homes and our cars and yet we strive for this sense of safety and security that doesn't really exist and so for me I'm okay with not being safe and that doesn't mean I'm not afraid it just means it doesn't stop me from doing 
so many really cool things to see. Oh, I'm in the way. Look at all the green. So a little bit more on safety because even though I know I am not safe, I am as safe as I can be. I carry my full pack with me, this is Wilson, every single trip because it has everything in it that I need to last out here for a night. And, uh, and a food, water, all the things. And people know where I am. And they also know when I'm going to return. And I have this little tracker device thing. And that allows me to pinpoint a signal every 10 minutes of where I am on trail. And so if I don't come home, then people know how to find me. And uh, I carry my 10 essentials and I'm as safe as I, I can be out here being unsafe. <laughs> so the trail goes, I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. It goes down here by this water. And then there's an embankment and it kind of goes up and you can't tell how steep it is, but I'm definitely going to need to use that tree to get up there. I love running across bridges on trail. It's just amazing what people uh, can build out here in nature. And I'm really grateful when they put these great thingies on there because especially with the ice, it keeps you from slipping and my feet are no longer dry. It's gotten quite muddy out here. I just spooked about five deer over there. Uh, they're too fast for me to get my phone out and get it on video. Uh, one snorted at me. But uh, that's really all I see out here. Deer, squirrel, and evidence that there are other things that I don't see, like footprints and stuff like that. Still a little bit of snow, but mostly green and sunny. Look at the blue sky and the sun. So I'm five miles in and the trail goes down there and looks so pretty, but uh, it's time to turn around and I'm ready to go back. Appreciating the blue sky today and the sun. Heard some birds out. The water and the wind. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's definitely blowing up here. On my way back. Still on my way back. It's really pretty through here. I think I already took a picture, but then you can't really see little waterfalls and well, maybe you can. Little waterfalls and the creek down there and the sun. I love walking through sections of trail like this where it's kind of enclosed and you get that mossy feeling the leaves and the green. Look at all of these. There are so many. All the way down the log. So cool. I'm about seven miles in. And uh, getting tired, but I think there's just a little few um, little ups and then that big giant downhill. So shouldn't be too bad. So I think this is where my feet got wet last time and uh, I'll probably get wet again. I just passed that little short road walk. Um, it really is short, so that's nice. And overall, the trail is uh, 
This is really nice. I like this section. Oh boy, that's really wet. Um, I like this section because you get that big climb out of the way and uh, it's pretty lovely. It would be great. I would think all four season, it would be very different. Oh yeah, now my feet are wet. Ah! Back into the sopping mud. Um, they'll dry out before I get to the car probably. Got a couple miles left and uh, yeah, this would be pretty in the snow. I'll definitely come back and uh, very green in the summer. Oh, mud. I'm back out to the beginning of the trail where it was pretty exposed and the sun is shining. Heading uh, back to the car, almost there. And uh, this has been a really great day hike. Highly recommend. I will definitely be back here. Next time I come back, I'll head on the NCT in the opposite direction. See what's that way. But I also want to do this section again and do it during the, well, in the winter when it is covered in snow. That would be my next little goal. So here we are. Back to the car.